In this example, we're going to show some of the intelligence of SDS2's connection design. In this connection here, these beams are sharing bolts, and we would like to develop a safety connection here. To do that, we will edit the beam, change the input connection type to clip angle, and underneath connection specs tell that we want a safety connection. We will do the same thing to the other side. And then we'll process the members. This connection has failed. Let's find out why. To do that, we just click on the beam. And it's telling us the beam is not deep enough for a connection. I will change the depth of the beam to an 18 by 40 do so for the other side as well and reprocess the members. Now you see that we've got our safety connection. This connection is backed up with design calcs as well. If we just edit the member, click on the expanded calc button you can see in our design calculations what tables it's using and as we scroll down you'll see the expanded design calculations as well. Our next example is going to be a shear tab moment connection. Change our connection type to shear tab and change our moment to a bolted moment. When SDS2 looks at connections, it looks at all the joints coming into that connection. In this case, we've got our two row shear tab moment connection. Now if we edit the beam coming in perpendicular to the flange and apply a shear tab moment as well, process the members, and there's our moment connection. Next we're going to rotate the column 90 degrees. After we reprocess, SDS2 will have looked at all the beams coming in and adjusted the setbacks and connections.